All right, thank you very much. Uh, the board will now come to order. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Alderwoman Tyus. Alderwoman Middlebrook. Present. Alderman Bosley. Alderwoman Evans. Present. Alderman Page. Present. Alderwoman Ingracia. Present. Alderman Coder. Alderwoman Rice. Present. Alderman Gunther. Here. Alderman Stevens. Alderwoman Schweitzer. Present. Alderwoman Howard. Alderwoman Green. Present. Alderman Oldenburg. Present. Alderwoman Peel. Alderman Todd. Present. Alderwoman Davis. Present. Alderwoman Spencer. Present. Alderman Vaccaro. Alderman Narayan. Here. Alderman Cone. Present. Alderwoman Clark Hubbard. Here. Alderwoman Boyd. Present. Alderman Gross. President Vollmer. Present. Alderwoman Tyus. Alderman Bosley. Alderman Coder. Alderman Stevens. Alderwoman Howard. Alderwoman Peel. Alderman Vaccaro. Alderman Grass. <laughs> Oh. 17 present. Ottoman Boss is present. I'm sorry. Did, uh, did you get me my mic was off? Uh, yes, I'm sir. Present. Uh, 19 present, you have corn. Sharita, thank you very much. Uh, today we will be led in prayer by uh, Reverend John Watson from Maple Temple. And I uh, ask that we all keep the Alderman from the first uh, in our prayers as we proceed with this. Reverend Watson, please take us away. God bless you. God bless each of you. We'll start. The Juneteenth is the oldest African-American celebration of the emancipation from slavery. President Lincoln, emancipation, declaring all slaves were free from slavery was issued January the 1st, 1863. The news traveled solely in Texas was the most remote state. And the army arrived in Galveston, Texas after the Civil War on June 19, 1863, announcing that all slaves were free, according to the Emancipation of Proclamation. This date was recognized and celebrated as the date that finally freedom was experienced by all slaves. With that in mind, we pray. Gracious God, Heavenly Father, we stand here as a diverse community and give praise and thanks you heard the cries of the oppressed. Bless your name for giving us victory and freedom over slavery. We in gratitude unite all our hearts to reflect on where you have brought us from. As we enter this Juneteenth holiday celebration as a diverse community, let us remember all our ancestors who long to see this day come. Let us sing songs of joy and celebration. Gracious God, thank you for the freedom we experience. Now let us not take for granted at what cost we experience it. May we fill the land with songs of joy and thanksgiving and celebration in remembering your saving grace. And after time of celebration, give us strength and motivation and fortitude with courage to continue to pursue social justice, equality, un unity for all to move our great city further down the road of liberty for all. And to your arms, we commit ourselves, our family, our, our community, our great city. Amen. Be safe. Amen. Thank you very much, Reverend. Appreciate all your words. Uh, line M3, uh, announcement, any special order today? Are there any uh, resolutions being presented? None? All right. I'd like to take this moment. Uh, 
as we enter week two of this uh, journey we're on, uh, I'd like to thank all those well wishers who've uh, come forth and gave me, uh, you know, hoping this goes well. And for those with all your fears and doubts, I appreciate your silence and we'll continue from here. Thank you very much. We will now go to introduction of honored guest. Uh, see some hands up. Introduction of honored guests. Alderman from the, I see no hands. Alderman from the 23rd, please proceed. Yes, I'd like to have, I have two special guests today, uh, Greg Meyer, and I also have sitting next to me, Calvin Whitaker, uh, who's, uh, we're actually doing this from church. Uh, so those are my two special guests today. All right, thank you very much. Thanks for joining us, folks. All right, Alderman from, 20, Alderman from 26, please proceed. Thank you, Mr. President, member of the board. I would like to have as my special guest, our very own Tracy Dillips snuck in a birthday in on us this weekend on Saturday. So shout out to Tracy. Thank you for all you do for us down here, especially me. You never make me feel like I'm getting on your nerves. So happy birthday. I hope you enjoyed your birthday. And I think we should all wish you a happy birthday. All right. And happy birthday. No singing. All right, uh, anyone else? I see no other hands. Oliver from 25th, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. President. Today is uh, Tuesday, June 14th. It is also National Flag Day. Um, so if you happen to hear that the alderman from the 25th or 23rd Ward is uh, climbing a flagpole, please have him suspended. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. It's also National Bourbon Day, so please partake later wisely. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Approval of minutes, Friday, June 10th. Approval of the minutes dated Friday, June 10th, 2022. All from the 25th, you're recognized for approval of the minutes. I make a motion that we approve the uh, meeting minutes. Okay, second. Second. Second by the other one from the fourth that we approve the meetings minutes of uh, June 10th meeting. Any discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Report of city officials. Report of city officials can be found in A, B, and C of the agenda has been placed in the alderman's mailboxes. All right, line item seven, petitions, communications. We'll dispense with line item seven. Board bills for perfection. Is there anyone who would like to take anything off bills or resolutions off of any of our informal calendars? Would anyone like to take anything off any of our informal calendars? All right. With that, we'll move to line item 11, first reading of board bills. For Bill 52, sponsored by Alderman Cohn, Alderwoman Spencer, and Alderman Gunther, an ordinance pertaining to the special use district establishing the Dutchtown Special Use District, providing definitions and findings per pertaining to said Dutch, Dutch SUD, further providing use and conditional use regulations for Dutch SUD and containing an emergency clause and a severability clause. Board Bill 53, sponsored by Alderman Calder, an ordinance approving a redevelopment plan dated June 3rd, 2022 for the Locust Street, North 6th Street, Pine, Street and North 7th Street area. That's the extent of first reading of board bills. Thank you, Sharita. Uh, reference to committee. To the HUD committee board bill 52 and 53. That's the extent of reference to committee. Thank you very much. We'll go to second reading, report of standing committees. The following board bills were reported out of public employee with the DuPads recommendation. Board Bill 39 as amended, sponsored by Alderman Bosley, an ordinance relating to the appointment of and salaries of certain employees in the Collector Revenues Office, pursuant to Section 82.610, Revised Statutes of Missouri, by repealing Ordinance Number 71112, allocating certain other employees to a grade with rate, including an emergency clause. The provisions of the section contained in this ordinance shall be effective June 19, 2022. Board Bill 40 as amended, sponsored by Alderman Clark Hubbard. An ordinance, uh, an ordinance amending ordinance number 70714, amending section one, repealing section two of that ordinance and en enacting in lieu thereof a new section two pertaining to the same subject matters and amending section three, 
amend the, amending the pay metrics contained in the emergency clause. The sections, the provisions of the sections contained in this ordinance shall be effective June 19th, 2022. Four Bill 41 as amended, sponsored by Alderwoman Howard, an ordinance to regulate employer and employee working relationships between the city of St. Louis and all employees under the medical examiner's office, including a compensation plan, terms and conditions of employment, benefits, leaves of absence, and authorization for a deferred compensation plan, repealing ordinance number 71113, allocating certain other employees to a grade with rate, including an emergency clause. The provisions of the sections contained in this ordinance shall be effective June 19, 2022. Board Bill 42 as amended, sponsored by Alderman Bosley, an ordinance relating to the to the appointment of and salaries of certain employees in the recorder's office pursuant to section 82.610 of the revised statutes of the states of Missouri by repealing ordinance number 71174, allocating certain other employees to a grade with rate and, and contain an emergency clause. The provisions of the sections contained in this ordinance shall be effective June 19, 2022. War Bill 48, sponsored by Alderman Bosley. In order to regulate employer and employee working relationships between the city of St. Louis and all employees under the classified service, including the compensation plan, terms, conditions of employment, benefits, leave of absence, authorization for a deferred compensation plan, repealing ordinance number 71099, all allocating certain other employees to a grade with rate, and including an emergency clause. The provision of the the provisions of the section contained in this ordinance shall be effective June 19, 2022. Board Bill 49 as amended, sponsored by Alderman Bosley, an ordinance relating to the appointment of and salaries of certain employees of the St. Louis Board of Election Commissioners pursuant to 115.045 and 115.049, revised statutes of Missouri by repealing ordinance number 71479, allocating certain other employees to agree with rate and including an emergency clause. The provisions of, of the sections contained in this ordinance shall be effective June 19, 2022. Board Bill 50 as amended, sponsored by Alderman Bosley, an ordinance to repeal ordinance number 68706 relating to the appointment and rates of compensation of certain employees under the license collector of the city of St. Louis and enacting in lieu thereof a new ordinance dealing with the same subject matter and containing an emergency clause. The provisions of the sections contained in this ordinance shall be effective June 19, 2022. Board Bill 51, sponsored by Alderman Bosley, an ordinance to regulate employer and employee working relationships between the city of St. Louis and all employees under the circuit attorney office, including the compensation plan, terms and condition of employment, benefits of leave of absence and authorization for Deferred Compensation Plan, repealing ordinance number 70450, allocating certain other employees of a grade with rate, including an emergency clause. The provision of the sections containing this bill shall be effective June 19, 2022. That's the extent of second reading report of standing committees. Thank you. We'll dispense with the line item 14. Uh, Alder from the third, you're recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. And I appreciate the members of the board today. Um, I'm asking, uh, if possible, I'd ask to suspend the rules um, to move board bills 39 as amended, 40 as amended, 41 as amended, 42 as amended, 48, 49 as amended, 50 as amended, and 51 to the perfection consent calendar. Okay. I have a motion. I'll entertain a second. And would anyone like to second this? Second. second. Okay, second, second. By the alderman. We have the alderman. Second from the 20th. All right, fourth and the 19th, we're out there first. Point of All order. Right. And the 20th. Yep. Point of order. Yes. I, I just making sure everyone has their cameras on when they vote. Thank you. Or when yeah, they sign. Okay, I, I, I reckon I, I could see all of them the fourth and 19th as they voted. Okay, just uh, making sure. Thank you so much. I'm recognizing them on their, on their, on their seconds. Thank all you right, so thank much. You for, you're welcome. All right, after that, uh, okay, we have a motion and a second. Uh, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Alderwoman Tyus. Alderwoman Middlebrook. Aye. Alderman Bosley. Aye. Alderwoman Evans. Aye. Alderman Page. Aye. Alderwoman Ingracia. 
Yes. Alderman Coder. Alderman Rice. Aye. Alderman Gunther. Alderman Stevens. Aye. Alderman Schweitzer. Aye. Alderman Howard. Alderman Green. Aye. Alderman Alderman. Aye. Alderman Peel. Aye. Alderman Todd. Aye. Alderman Davis. Aye. Alderman Spencer. Alderman Carroll. Abstain. I abstain. Alderman Orion. Aye. Alderman Cone. Alderman Clark Hubbard. Yes. I'm sorry, I. <laughs> Alderman Boyd. I. Alderman Grass. I. President Vollmer. I. Alderman Tyus. Alderman Ingracia. I. Alderman Coder. Alderman Gunther. Alderman Gunther, you broke up. Sir. Aye. Thank you. Alderman Howard. Alderman Spencer. Aye. Aye. Alderman Spencer. We, Alderman Gunther, we, we have your vote. Alderman Cohn? Yes. Uh, Alderman Cohn is an I. Alder Thank you. Twenty I votes and one abstain. All right. By your vote, you sustain the motion of the Alderman of the third. Okay, Madam Clerk, please place board bills 40 as amended, 41 as, as amended, 42 as amended, 48, 49 as amended, 50 as amended, 51 at the end of the perfection consent calendar. And I believe uh, we need to place board bill 39 as amended at the regular uh, consent calendar. So noted. All right. Court of Order, that, Mr. President. Uh, yes, were, yep. Please proceed. Um, were those bills moved to just perfection consent or perfection for discussion? Uh, all were moved to perfection consent except for 39 as amended. Alderman 23rd needs to abstain to, uh, he has a conflict on that particular one. He requested that we put it on for discussion and vote. Okay, I, I apologize. I was I was hoping that we were going to discuss some of these pay bills today. We um, And I... Uh, I'm apologize. I don't know which numbers specifically here. So I'll, I'll take a look at that real quick and I'll come back with a, a motion to move a couple to perfection so we can discuss. Okay. At this point, yes. The only one going to regular perfection is 39 as amended. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Right. Um, I have a hand up. Yes. One I second, please. We have hands up. Well, we'll go in order. Uh, all of them from 26, you have your hand up. Thank you, Mr. President. As sponsor of uh, Board Bill 40, as amended, I would like to uh, make the motion to move it to perfection and formal calendar, please, because I have a floor serve that's coming. So that's going to informal calendar is what you're requesting? Perfection and formal. So that perfection it and formal. Yeah. Okay. Sarita, please make note of that. So noted. All right. Uh, the next hand up, uh, we have all the one from the sixth. Thank you, Mr. President. I just, I, I don't know if now's the appropriate time, but I um, echo um, the Alderman from the eighth's concern. I, it was my understanding we would be discussing the pay bills today that they would not be on consent. 
Okay, um, it is if there, there's specific numbers that, that we want to place on there, I believe all of them from the aid is looking at that. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we can come back to that. If you'd like to discuss that with her, we can uh, do that. I just need the specific numbers. I have the one currently 39 as amended, uh, just to make sure if there's ones we don't need to go through. I'd like to make a motion to um, move Board Bill 48 to the regular perfection calendar. Point of order, point of order real quick to the alderwoman from the six, Mr. President, if that's okay. Point of order, please proceed. No motions needed. It's a simple request to move something off. Of the, uh, I, I, I understand. I apologize. I should have. Uh, no, yeah, I'm, I'm just correcting. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, all the one of you, if you can make the request, and we can move it. Okay, so, uh, then I request that Board Bill Forty Eight be placed on the regular perfection calendar. Okay, Sharita, please make note of that. So noted. All right, all Mr. From President. All from the twenty third. You're recognized. Yeah, uh, Mr. President, um, I believe I had about five or six of these that I had to send over to the, yeah, I, I filled out the paperwork and sent them in. I just need to make sure that uh, those are heard. My problem is I'm, I am at a funeral and I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna have to stop when mass starts, but um, um, I do have conflicts. So anything to do with by state and uh, Greg Dale's office, you know, collector revenue. I have conflicts, so uh, I just want to note it here. Since I won't be here to abstain, I also won't be there to vote. But uh, okay, I'll try to get back on after. All right. Well, we okay because we we have to we have to move these bills now also before we get to the oh, professional no, consent I, calendar. So. Uh, I, We've your the one bill pertaining to the no, office is thirty nine as amended. I believe, uh, in going through that, that was a bill that you know you will we have moved for you. Yep, and, and that could very well be the only one. But I think could be a separate one. But I thought it was. I, I, I okay. thought it was. Okay. Well, if you have a chance, we'll try and research. But we do have to do this before we proceed with the fresh consent calendar. All the one from the nineteenth, you're recognized. Mr. President, I just wanted to share with you, if the alderman from the 23rd Ward is not voting and he has submitted uh, a conflict of interest form, uh, we can move on. He's okay. okay. He's All not right. voting and he's filled out his forms. So we're fine for him. All right. Thank you very much for your clarity. Alderman from the 3rd, you're recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I'd also like to, uh, with, for contract of interest, conflict of interest, move Board Bill 42 to the regular consent. My apologies. I know I made the motion to um, send it to uh, the perfection consent calendar, but. So you're, you're talking about 40, 42 as amended? Yes, sir. So we have, Sharita, please make note of that. We'll be sending 42 as amended to the regular perfection. Oh, no, so that's 39 as amended, 42 as amended, 48. Any request to move any other bills to regular perfection? We must do so now before we get to line item 15. And, and I do have one more thing. Uh, please um, proceed, Alderman. Thank you, sir. Um, the office of the, uh, give me one second, let me get this board, but you know, we got a few of them, so I wanna make sure I got the right board bill here. It is, uh, well, board bill number 50 from the license collector's office. Uh, so 50, sent 50 as amended. Say it again, sir. You have board bill 50 as amended. Do you like to? Right, board bill 50 as amended. Um, so I just wanted to know if this is the proper time. They sent in a floor substitute this morning. Um, their bill was one of the bills that did not mirror the language from the rest of them. Uh, when it comes down to the, the pay information, that pay increase and, and the bonus, um, they sent in that, that substitute this morning. Um, I just wanted to, before we maybe got away from it, I, I don't know if this is the proper time to- Well, yeah, yeah, uh, but before we put it on professional consent, uh, so if you'd like to take that off of uh, professional consent. Yes, sir, I, I would. Yeah. And we want to send it to regular perfection calendar. Yes, sir. Is that is that would that be appropriate time to do it? Maybe a uh, I believe I'm that sure. is. I'm checking my rules as we're going over this. 
Pardon my. Uh, no, 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 it's just real quick. I got it at, at nine. Yeah, we'll be sending 50 as amended. The request is to put and place 50 as amended on the regular perfection calendar. Please, Sharita, please make note of that. Thank you. I'll note it. All right. So before we proceed, is there any other board bills? 39 as amended, 42 as amended, 48, 50 as amended are being taken off the of perfection consent. Hearing no other requests. We will now proceed to line item 15. Sharita, please proceed. Once you get the, the, the new list straight. <laughs> Perfection consent calendar. Board Bill 16, sponsored by Alder Woman Evans, an ordinance approving the redevelopment plan dated December 16th, 2021, for the 4100 through 4134 Dr. Martin Luther King Drive area. Board Bill 23, sponsored by Alderwoman Howard, an ordinance approving the redevelopment plan dated March 22nd, 2022, for the 4747 Atkins Avenue and 4009 Delores Street area. Board Bill 22, sponsored by Alderman Cone, an ordinance recommended by the Airport Commission and the Board of Estimate and Apportionment pertaining to the process through which the City of St. Louis Airport Authority lets concession co contracts at St. Louis Lambert International Airport Amending section eight of ordinance number five four nine 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 approved March March nineteenth, nineteen sixty-eight, as codified in section one eight point zero eight point zero eight zero of the revised code, City of St. Louis, twenty twenty Anno, containing the severability clause and containing the emergency clause. Board Bill twenty seven, sponsored by Alderman Cohn, and ordinance uh, an ordinance. Recommended and approved by the Airport Commission and the Board of Estimate and Apportionment, amending ordinance number 71288 and the Air Service Initiative Program for fiscal years 2021 through 2023, as adopted by ordinance number 71288, adopting an amended Air Service Initiative Program for fiscal years 2021 through 2024, and providing for amended financial incentives for new airlines or new air service at St. Louis Lambert International Airport contain the severability clause and contain an emergency clause. Board Bill 28, sponsored by Alderman Cone. An ordinance recommended and approved by the Airport Commission and the Comptroller and the Board of Estimate and Apportionment making findings respecting the transfer of a maximum of $13,727,769 of excess monies that the City of St. Louis, the owner and operator, a St. Louis Lambert International Airport intends to transfer from the Debt Service Stabilization Fund to the Airport Revenue Fund during fiscal year 2022 to mitigate rates on annual basis on the terms of the Airport Use and Lease Agreement commencing July 1st, 2016, contain the severability clause and an emergency clause. Board Bill 30, sponsored by Alderman Cohn, an ordinance recommended and approved by the Airport Commission and the Board of Estimate and Apportionment providing for the transfer of $1 million that the city of St. Louis intends to transfer from the airport development fund through the airport contingency fund into the airport revenue fund in order to fund the airport's air service initiative program for fiscal year 2021 through fiscal year 2024, which total um, estimated costs may not exceed $3.4 million providing for supplement, supplemental transfers containing the severability clause and contain an emergency clause. Board Bill 34, sponsored by Alderman Coder. An ordinance approving, I'm sorry, an ordinance amending ordinance number 71390, which ordinance amended ordinance number 68964 related to a lease agreement dated September 15, 2011, between the City of St. Louis and Fred Weber, Inc., authorizing the execution of a First Amendment to a lease agreement between the City and New Frontier Materials Operation Alpha, containing a severability clause. Board Bill 35, sponsored by Alderman Coder, and ordinance amending ordinance number 71391, which ordinance amended ordinance number 67298, relating to a lease agreement dated January the 1st, 20, 2007, between the City of St. Louis Fred Weber, Inc., authorizing an execution of a First Amendment to lease agreement between the City and New Frontier Materials Operation Alpha, LLC, containing the severability clause. Board Bill 24, sponsored by Alderman Coder. 
Pursuant to ordinance number 70333, as amended by ordinance number 71394, an ordinance directing the director of streets to install speed humps to calm the flow of traffic on the 2200 block of Indiana Avenue, the 2200 block of Missouri Avenue, Mississippi Avenue between Geyer Avenue and Interstate 44 overpass, the 2200 block of Jules, 2100 block of Geyer, 2000 block of Geyer, the 2000 block of Ann Avenue, 2100 block of Allen Avenue and a 2000 block of Allen Avenue. Board Bill 25 sponsored by Alderman Calder and Alderman Gunther and ordinance authorizing the honorary street name, Diane Kirby Way pursuant to ordinance number 68937 which shall begin at the North Curb Line, Lamai Street at the intersection of Lamai and North South Alley Way bound about 13th Street to the east and Interstate Hi Highway 55 to the west and shall run north on said alleyway to the curb line of Shenandoah Avenue at the intersection of Shenandoah Avenue and said alleyway. Board Bill 32, sponsored by Alderwoman Clark Hubbard, pursuant to ordinance number 70333, as amended by ordinance number 71394, an ordinance directing the director of streets to inst install speed humps to calm the floor of traffic on a 5800 block of Clemens Avenue between the intersection of Clemens Avenue and Goodfellow. Boulevard and Clements Avenue and Hamilton Avenue and on the 5500 block of Cates Avenue between the intersection of Cates Avenue and Bell Avenue and Cates Avenue and Clara Avenue. Board Bill 33 sponsored by Alderwoman Schweitzer pursuant to ordinance number 70333 as amended by ordinance number 71394 and ordinance directing the director of streets to install speed humps to calm the floor traffic on a 4000 block of Eiffelberger Street. Board Bill 36, sponsored by Alderman Page. An ordinance recommended by the Board of Estimate and Apportionment, amending ordinance number 70074, authorizing and directing the mayor and the comptroller to execute a second amended and restated financing agreement in connection with the financing and refinancing of certain costs associated with the NGA West facility modernization project and containing emergency clause. Board Bill 43, sponsored by Alderwoman Rice and Alderwoman Green, an ordinance pertaining to a special use district established in South Grand Special Use District, providing definitions and findings per pertaining to said district, further providing use and conditional use regulations for said district, and contain an emergency, emergency clause. Board Bill 41, as amended, sponsored by Alderwoman Howard, an ordinance to regulate employer an employee working relationship between the city of St. Louis and all employees under the medical examiner's office, including a compensation plan, terms and conditions of employment, benefits, leave of absence, and authorization for a deferred compensation plan, repealing ordinance number 71113, allocating certain other employees to a grade with rate, including an emergency clause. The provisions of the section contained in this ordinance shall be effective June 19, 2022. Board Bill 49 as amended. An ordinance relating to the, to the appointment of and salaries of certain employees on the St. Louis Board of Election Commissioners pursuant to 115.045 and 115.049, revised sections of Missouri by repealing ordinance number 71479, allocating certain other employees to a grade with rate and including an emergency clause. The provisions of the section contained in this ordinance shall be effective June 19, 2022. Board Bill 51 sponsored by Alderman Bosley. An ordinance to regulate employer and employee working relationships between the city of St. Louis and all employees under the circuit attorney office, including the compensation plan terms and condition of employment Benefits, leave of absence, and authorization for a deferred compensation plan, repealing ordinance number 70450, allocating certain other employees to a grade with rate, and including an emergency clause. The provision of the section contained in this bill shall be effective June 19, 2022. That is the extent of perfection consent. Thank you very much, Sharia. Take a breath. All right, the Auburn from the 25th, you're recognized for approval of the perfection consent calendar. Auburn from the 25th, are you with us? All right. Sorry, Mr. President, I had to 
switch over, my battery was dying. What? All right. Hate when that happens. August twenty fifth, you are recognized for approval of the perfection consent calendar. I move that we approve the perfection consent calendar. Entertain a second. Second. I didn't catch uh, the number. Did you? Four. That was the older woman fourth. from the fourth. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. It has been moved by the alderman from the twenty fifth. Second by the alderman from the fourth. That we approve our perfection consent calendar. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? By your vote, we have sustained the motion of the alderman from the 25th and approved the perfection consent calendar. Board bills for perfection. Board bill one as amended, sponsored by President Reed, Alderwoman Davis, and Alderman Balmer. An ordinance making appropriation for payment of interest, expenses, and principal of the city's Bonded indebtedness and in establishing city rate tax. I'm sorry, city tax rates and make an appropriation for current year, current year expenses of the city government contained in the emergency clause. All right. All room from the 19th, you're recognized on perfection of board bill one as amended. Oh, I, <clears throat> um, I request uh, approval for board bill number one as amended. Okay, entertain a second. 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 Second, second by the old one from the fourth. Uh, would you like to uh, make any remarks, any discussion? Uh, <clears throat> Mr. President and members of the board, our annual budget under board bill one as amended had a, a very thorough reviewing process with uh, the departments that came before us explaining uh, the reasons why they were allocating funds as such in their budgets. We only had one uh, reference to make a change to add for one position uh, that was agreed upon by the executive branch and everyone uh, made sure that that was uh, done with haste. Uh, we had great public input. Uh, actually, we got some great ideas about some future programming and also um, got some uh, understanding of how the system works. Uh, so uh, with that, uh, I think that the process went well and uh, many of the older persons had an opportunity to view at some point. Thank you. All right, any further discussion? I don't see any hands. It has been moved and seconded that we perfect board bill one as amended. All in favor, signify by, say, by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. All right, thank you. Board bill one as amended, sponsored by Alderman Bosley. An ordinance relating to the appointment of and salaries of certain employees in the collective revenues office pursuant to section 82.610 Revised Statutes of Missouri by repealing ordinance number 71112, allocating certain other employees to a grade with rate, including an emergency clause. The provision of the section containing this ordinance shall be effective June 19, 2022. All right, all from the third, you're recognized on the perfection of board bill 39 as amended. All right, thank you. Um, board bill 39 as amended is a simple pay bill. Um, which is like many of the pay bills that are before us today, we are making sure that the individuals who work in these um, county offices and the office, offices within the city can get a 3% raise, have some sort. All over from the third, would you like to make a motion, please? Oh, yes, sir. My apologies. Uh, I move that we pass board bill 39 out with a due pass recommendation. Okay, well, we'll, we'll first move to adopt, please. <laughs> move to adopt. I'm sorry. I move that we adopt board bill 39 as amended. Uh, okay, I entertain a second. Second. All right. It's been moved by the alderman from the third and seconded by the alderman from the fourth. Now, please proceed, alderman from the third. All right. Thank you. Once again, uh, board bill 39 is a simple pay bill. Uh, one of the, um, give me one second here. I am, can you still, can you all still see my face? We cannot, sir. Okay, so it looks like when I when I pull up any information on my phone, it, it cuts off the 
the screen, and that's not by me not wanting to to have my screen on, but my, my screen goes to my email. So I was looking at the board bill in particular. My that's apologies. fine, sir. As long as you're not voting, we you know you can disappear for a second. Okay, thank you. Um, so yeah, this board bill is a simple pay bill for the um, collector of revenues office. Um, most of these bills here today are just to give our employees some sort of a standard three percent raise. As you know, they have been for years trying to figure out what a, a, a pay scale looks like for these employees and having something significant um, uh, that they would consider something that we consider also growth for being here for five or 10 years, people having for some time, haven't had raises within the city of St. Louis. So, you know, this gives them that starting what it is that they are uh, 3% per year. Of course, some things are performance based based on how the departments are set up, but um, you know, this this gives a really, really good start to the employees knowing that five or 10 years from now, they have a 30 percent increase in pay, um, to, you know, contingent upon how long you'll be here in the city or how long you plan on being here in the city. You can actually look at what your potential uh, earnings are. So, you know, that's that's really great. And you also get a two thousand dollar bonus. Folks have been working very hard throughout the pandemic. Uh, we've been looking for employees. So folks certainly deserve it. So, you know, with that. That's what board bill 39 most uh, mostly encompasses as far as the differences. This is a pay bill um, that gives a correct uh, collective revenue, the, the operations, uh, the operational revenue that he has and being able to once again pay his employees the different um, um, positions that uh, they have uh, available to them once that they create what those sliding sliding ski uh, sliding pay scales look like also. Um, so. You know, once again, we're trying to just make sure our employees get what it is that they deserve and trying to put ourselves in a position where the city can be a good competitor when it comes down to uh, jobs and the different departments that um, are hiring to work for the city of St. Louis for services. So, all right. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Any further discussion? Any further discussion? Okay, I don't see any more hands at this point. Uh, it's been moved and second. We perfect board bill uh, number 39 is amended. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you all very much. Bill 48, sponsored by Alderman Bosley. An ordinance to regulate employer and employee working relationship between the city of St. Louis and all employees. Is this, Sharita, is this poor bill 40, 40 as amended or? 48. I was going in order. They gave me 48. Okay. 40. I thought it was 48 supposed to go to perfection and formal or was my notes, are my notes wrong? I think that was 40 as amended. All the one. Four, okay. Okay. I had my notes back. Thank you very much for correcting me. Appreciate no it. Problem. All right. Board Bill 48, sponsored by Alderman Bosley, an ordinance to regulate the employer and employee working relationship between the city of St. Louis and all employees under the classified service, including the compensation plan, terms and conditions of employment, benefits, leave of absence, authorization for a deferred compensation plan, repealing ordinance number 71099, allocating certain other employees to a grade with rate, including an emergency clause. The provisions of the Contained that this ordinance shall be effective June 19, 2022. All right. All from the third, you're recognized on board bill 48. All right. Thank you, Mr. President. All right. Thank you, Mr. President. Once again, this is another pay bill. Okay. Uh, Please make a motion. Uh, sorry. Um, I would like to adopt board bill 48. So there's been a motion on the floor to adopt board bill 48. Entertain a second. As amended. At, uh, As 48 amended. is uh, there's I might. This is straight bill 48, I believe. 48. Yeah. yeah, there's no amendments to 40 to board bill 48. Again, we uh, have a motion to adopt board bill 48. I'll entertain a second. Second. Okay, it's been moved and second that we do this. Uh, we will now take discussion. All over from the third, please proceed. Yes, sir. Once again, board bill 48 is a uh, simple. Uh, pay bill. This one is for uh, uh, so this is for the entire city of St. Louis. This is the blanket bill uh, that the mayor's office has been working very diligently to present to us and try to get out to all the employees so we can make sure that once again, employees in the city of St. Louis can receive a $2,000 raise here in that uh, within that first month of this new uh, fiscal period. 
and uh, we can start that 3% raise this year also. So I know there has been a lot of different changes that have been made over the last few days. That's also because there was some information that was passed along through our lawyers um, after speaking with uh, the, the mayor's office that you know made sure that this would be done in time enough for that first check for people to start seeing that 3% increase. Um, and making sure that those folks could receive that bonus within this fiscal year and not have to wait for an entire year. So once again, that's another reason why <laughs> uh, this board meeting on a Tuesday and not a Friday. And uh, we're just trying to make sure and ensure that uh, this gets out in a timely fashion and legally these residents are able to receive these funds and that 3% raise within the time period um, that was uh, negotiated and designed for them to receive it in. All right, uh, so, right. I'm sorry. Please, yes, sir. please proceed. I thought you were finished. I, 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 you know, I talk a lot, so I can be done. <laughs> uh, I know each one of them are significant and maybe different. I know there were a few other people who had questions about this one in particular, so it's just good sometimes to give a little bit of background on what's going on. It seems that these are being pushed through for some folks and some folks that weren't privy to the information on the back end, the reason why that would seem like it is going fast, like we put some of these on perfection, consent, things like that, that, that is a reason because there is a time frame that uh, the mayor's office, once again, has talked to, you know, our lawyers here in the city, and they just want to make sure that come the 19th, this is signable by the mayor, and this will be a fiscal year that the um, employees here in the city of St. Louis will be able to reap the benefits from what it is we're trying to do now and not like next year, so. All right, sir. Thank you very much. We have uh, all room from the 15th. You're recognized. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I agree with the alderman from the third that it's paramount that this gets passed quickly and city employees get their raises. Um, I do have a couple of questions, though, um, if the alderman from the third would yield for questions. Certainly. Alderman from the third, will you yield the questions for the alderman from the 15th? I will. Absolutely. Please proceed. Thank you. Um, so I, I got an email from uh, Jeff Hans at the Carpenters Union our meeting today um, that is discussing the shift differential and weekend differential for employees um, is not a part of this pay plan. And with the shift differential and the weekend differential from where um, it previously was to where this board bill has it? Um, you, you broke up just for a split second. I didn't hear the, the full question. I'm not sure. Sorry. Everyone, that's it. I'm sorry. sorry. My, my apologies. Uh, would you be able to break down for us the differences in the differential and the weekend differential between um, what was previously in place versus what's in place in uh, in this bill? As far as the, the weekend differential in, in, in reference to pay? Yes, because um, the, the contention, uh, the concern that was brought to me was that um, that it has been uh, eliminated from this and that the city would be, you know, it would be really difficult to maintain staff for second and third at corrections and airport and the, the water department um, without having that incentive still included. Um, so I'm, I'm just curious what changes have taken place with regard to that incentive. I understood. So with that particular question, of course, you know, this is a very, very long board bill. If I could answer that specific question, you have to give me a second so I can actually look through it, um, particularly to get to that particular part. I did not get a, uh, email from Mr. Hines that outlined specifically through bullet points exactly what it is they'd like to address. I do know that this bill has been up for conversation for some time. Mr. Moulton, uh, the mayor's office, uh, various entities here within the Board of Auditing, which is why I'm not carrying all of these bills, um, have been trying to figure out specifically how it is that we can get this information out. I know for sure, for sure, Mr. Hines is you know, a great guy. He's definitely doing what he can to fight for the employees. One of the issues that we've had with this is that it came so fast, you know, just being, you know, I keep it all the way a thousand. I try to be as realistic as we can. We haven't had months and months and months to prepare like we usually would. We haven't had a director that's been here for a year that's had this compensation study. Um, the director left, dropped the compensation study and people left. We had a, a big influx in ARPA dollars. So folks are, are really hurrying up to try to get people what they have deserved for some time and trying to put some type of structure around it. 
Um, and just, just being honest, we're not going to get it all right. And Mr. Hines is, you know, he's right. He's supposed to fight for those individuals who are saying there may be some changes here or there. Am I privy to every change that he'd asked for? Um, no, ma'am. If I was, without a doubt, at bare minimum, we would have talked about him in committee. And he did express in committee there were some concerns that he had, um, you know, without a doubt. But as far as us being able to have the time that it takes to work those changes out to ensure that this money could be passed out and that 3% raise could be gotten within the time frame needed and necessary um, uh, based on this fiscal year and what you know the lawyer said here that we need to kind of knock this out. We just went ahead and, and, and rolled the ball on, on what the different departments have worked for thus far, which is why once again, I just tried to do a committee sub for another office. Everybody's hairy enough to try to take care of their employees right now. And it's not our fault or the, the whole city's fault. A lot of transitions took place over the last few months, um, especially once again, we don't have the director that's been here for years and years. So Mr. Moulton and other folks are doing the best that they can working with Nancy Cross. And once again, our office is also, if I was the public employees uh, chairman for the last four years, maybe these conversations will be having, not saying that I do a good job of this or that, but I'm just saying that you know, we all are are kind of hairy enough to try to get this work done. So I do understand where Mr. Hines is coming from. I don't specifically know the answer to that particular question, but I will say there's nothing on this earth that will stop us from being able to negotiate better terms for the city employees. And there is no um, uh, intent at all in, in not working with Mr. Hines or working to ensure that whatever our employees previously had that they may not be privy to right now, which I'm not privy to myself, we can put those particular things back. Hopefully, because this is fiscal and we're talking about you know dollars, this is something that will not particularly affect them to where it's something that we can't put into uh, the budget where it can be like an immediate change uh, because we're not saying it's a pay change or something like that where it would have to be on every check. This was, you know, it seems like this would be something that's in protocol or you know, um, working with these different department heads to make sure that they change the particular policy that gives them um, uh, the, uh, the I, I guess that scale in which their employees can apply for holiday pay and things like that. I'm always 100% amenable to going back to the table. So it's just, I just. Okay. So, so it would, I, from what I hear you, you saying, I, um, it is probably an oversight and wasn't in, this wasn't intended Without a doubt. The bill. Okay. So if we were able to put together an amendment real fast to get that back in, would you be amenable to that? Done. Okay. Just like if we, if we can figure it out, then the clerk is with it and, and everybody's like, let's let's do it. Any it, this nothing is meant to push this through. It is meant so we can get it done in a timely fashion to ensure that it is legalized. Um so these 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 uh amazing employees of ours can be able to reap the benefits of what it is that we're putting the work in to do right now. So, you know, we're, we're, we're open to everything as long as we can get it done. Okay, that, cause that, would, that would be my concern. I mean, I know that we can continue to negotiate uh, on this, but once it passes, I know that we lose that incentive to negotiate in some, uh, you know, we say that we're gonna do things, we're, you know, we pass something and we say we're gonna come back and do something else. And that Never do. always, you know, unfortunately happens. So, That's right. um, all right, so I will uh, yield back for now and uh, and see if we can get together a, an amendment uh, to rectify this. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you all. Real quick, Mr. President, I, I don't want to want to sound like this, but I, I have like three iPhone chargers and I utilize my phone for my meetings and my today is just a weird day. It looks like two of my cords aren't working. I'm going to go buy another one right now, but in the event that my phone does die, this is very unprofessional, but I have to make sure that I keep it real. This is extremely important for our employees. Um, I would like Auto Woman Davis or, uh, we are Auto Woman Davis, please, because you continue. My phone will pop back on in about 10 or 15 minutes. I'm going to go buy a supercharger right now if it does die on me, but I'm not getting um, a good charge from Okay. Need I, charges I, have. I'm sorry. I believe the proper procedure is all woman uh, Davis will you be uh, amenable to uh, carry on the discussion for board vote 48 at the request about of 15 speaker. minutes that's it yes all right thank you very much uh you, you had your hand up I thought that you want to ask yourself a question I just wanted to make a comment on what was being suggested okay um, please proceed. union negotiations have been 
uh, documented properly within uh, the charter of the city of St. Louis. It must be done in that manner. It will continue to be negotiated as was stated in the meeting. Uh, Mr. Moten uh, guaranteed that yes, there's another meeting scheduled. Uh, Jeff Hans shared with us another meeting scheduled. And according to everything that I know uh, about union negotiations, everything stays the same until there is a change. So nobody is not going to receive their uh, differential pay. And they're still negotiating. They have a meeting scheduled for later in June. Okay. I don't if think you... we should try to supersede the process and get it confused. Thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, Alderman Todd, May 18th, you have your hand up, sir. Yes, uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, my question is, will there be a roll call uh, on this vote? Uh, can I request uh, if, if you request one, there will be, sir. And, and may I speak on this issue? Uh, I think there are some em uh, employees who deserve a 3% uh, raise and a $2,000 bonus because we do have some great employees. But I'm looking out my window and my trash hasn't been picked up. And I've been getting calls uh, throughout the 18th Ward about lack of trash being picked up. I've been getting calls about this tall grass that uh, uh, that um, some of it is six feet tall growing in the trees. Also the same thing with um, the parks. We have, uh, our parks don't have any, we have, uh, we don't have supervision and activities and supplies in our parks. Also uh, uh, the buildings, are still open. We had a fireman killed in the building, but we need to put four of those buildings up on all floors for just two years and then put windows in. And all of those type of things are happening, especially, especially in North St. Louis, which wouldn't be tolerated in certain other parts of the city of St. Louis. I cannot see how uh, any, I don't see how all of them, uh, all of them in, uh, deserve uh, deserve two thousand dollars, or even a raise at all. Uh, those that cannot cut grass, cannot board up buildings, cannot uh, 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 do the streets, uh, and um, so yeah, some do and some don't. So my question is, when the vote come up, do I? Uh, okay, so I'm calling for a roll call because uh, my residents are totally, totally dissatisfied that the one that I, most of them that I represent, with the poor services especially north of Delmar that, we, that they're getting, and even in the Central West End, I have calls from all of my constituents about the poor responses for certain, from certain departments to poor services. And I think a raise should be directly tied to the services that these workers provide to our constituents and the constituents should be priority and, uh, we, should, and, and uh, we should be able to pay, uh, first of all, take care of those uh, uh, things that need to be done and benefit the taxpayer. And then we should deal with the uh, taking care of the employees. As I say, employees deserve to be paid. I'm a union person, but the, um, but we cannot, if we cannot afford to fix, do those services that, I, that are, uh, are being requested by our, cons our constituents, then uh, we shouldn't be able to uh, some of them shouldn't get a raise. In fact, some of them should be removed the way uh, the 18th part of the 18th ward look. So, uh, so I go on record uh, right now opposing a raise until uh, my services are uh, given to my residents. Sorry about that. Had to care some. Uh, we have noted your request for a roll call vote, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you for okay, involving we, me. Next hand up is all our woman from the 8th. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. Um, I'm trying to kind of work out. I, I tried to tune into some of the, the meetings yesterday um, here, and um, I'm not sure if uh, the alderman from the 3rd is still with us, but I'm, if he uh, is- He's not right now. The alderman from the 19th is handling the bill for Okay, great. Um, would the alderman from the 19th yield for questions? 
Uh, let me, Alder Woman from the 19th, we yield the questions from the Alder Woman from the 8th. Yes, sir. Please proceed. Wonderful. Thank you, Alder Woman. Um, so there, there are a couple of things that are still um, sort of swirling out here. One of these is um, the what the Alder Woman from the 15th noted on the, the shift deferential questions about whether or not those would change in the interim. And so your understanding is that the current agreement that is in place will govern until negotiations are finished. And is that only for union em employees or is that for all of the city workers that fall under the categories that are, are normally um, receiving that shift differential pay? Each, each division that has a union representing them, those negotiations will continue. We don't have, um, I don't know of any other department that came before us or any other pay bill that had that concern. So this is the only one that we're dealing with, with Mr. Hans. And when you have uh, any kind of agreement, and I've dealt with unions and uh, contracts and agreements, they have the opportunity for everything to remain the same until the agreement is either satisfied and or they go into a, a different type of arbitration because they can't get to a satisfaction. So no one is gonna be without differential pay. Okay. Okay, that's helpful. Um, the other piece I believe that Mr. Hans mentioned was a potential increase for employees that drive their own vehicles uh, while performing their duties for the city. Was there any discussion of that in, in committee yesterday that, that you're aware of or, or in connection with this bill? No. And uh, you have the executive branch of the city of St. Louis has always handled that. I've never seen it come before us. Okay. Uh, like the NISs. I don't know if they still get mileage or I know it's changed a couple of times since I've been here, how sure. to address that. So we have nothing to do with that. Okay. Yeah. I know they, um, the, the federal rate just increased on, on the mileage. And I would hope that that would translate to our employees as well. Um, it always has. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's great. Um, so then the other piece, um, the other piece that a number of us have been uh, working with uh, for a while is the extended sort of paid family leave. And I believe that there is some that is included in this bill, but maybe not. Um, do you, can you speak to any, any conversations around that, that particular provision of our employee contract being, um, being extended was, have we expanded paid family leave this year? Everything that came before us had the six weeks. And six weeks. Which is okay. the federal standard. Okay. Um, I appreciate that. And we're trying to, so thinking out procedure here, um, the bills are moving. We're having to move them this quickly um, because the mayor needs to sign them before June 19th. Is that what is? In order for people to receive them on the paychecks in July. We'd okay. like for them to receive it in July. Okay, so, and this falls within an emergency measure that the mayor can sign within that first 10 day period that normally they have to wait on the, um, on the bills. Is that your, Every okay. one of them have an emergency clause, yes. Okay. Um, okay, I think that answers all of my questions. I see some of my other colleagues have questions, so I'll yield back. Thank you, Alder Woman, for answering all questions. Right. And, and just welcome. to note that anything we amend today by Rule 65, we would have to wait till Friday to Start pass, but as, you, mm -hmm. but, but as you know, we are meeting Thursday. So any amendments we make would not be, uh, you know, we have to wait, we have the time due to rule 65, we have to wait three days if we'd amend it. So that would mean we would not get the bills out and the bonuses would not be met. Uh, that's one thing to consider as we're, we're going over this. Uh, that's true. Okay. Uh, we will now go to, uh, you've yielded back all over from the eighth. We will now go to Alderman from the 28th. You're recognized. Uh, hi, would the uh, Alderman from the 19th yield to questions? Uh, Alderman from the 19th, will you yield the questions from the Alderman from the 28th? Yes. Hi, good morning. I, I just have a, a basically a quick question, more of a point is, and I feel like, you know, this probably is a question for everybody who's been around the city longer than I have, but I mean, currently is it everyone's understanding that our basic employees like or, I mean our you know our, our city employees get shift 
differential uh, for evening work and for weekend work. Uh, because the only point that I will say is that, uh, you know, I, I worked at the casino industry for a while. I dealt cards, I dealt roulette, I uh, was a pit boss, and uh, we didn't have a shift in differential. And I always thought that that was just like really terrible and profoundly unfair. Uh, so I feel like I, you know, owe it to my, you know, 20 something year old self to advocate for, for that uh, anytime I can. Um, so I am curious if, if the city has it and, um, and, and that, you know, if we don't, then um, I am in favor of all efforts to, um, you know, to, to maintain it and to add it. And in, in, in the case where we have people that like the fire department and other places, uh, there is a shift differential and the departments that we're talking about uh, under Mr. Hunt's business management, they have shift of differential, have always had it. We are negotiating, they're negotiating their contract. And that's where they are at that point in the contract. And if they're negotiating for it to be higher, they need to have the opportunity to get to that conclusion. So uh, they are continuing with their negotiations, but in union contracts, until you finalize negotiations, everything stays the same. So they are currently getting shift differential. This is not something new trying to be developed. So we're just moving forward. Thank you. All right. All right, any further questions, sir? Uh, nothing, no. Okay, thank you very much. We have next uh, up was Alderman from the 24th. Alderman Ryan, you're recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I just wanted to uh, go on the record here to respectfully disagree with my colleague from the 18th. Uh, our city workers are just getting their butts kicked out there on trash and grass and potholes. And it's not because they're, they're lazy or they're not trying or they don't care. It's because they're woefully understaffed right now. And uh, a raise will help us as a city to hire on more and to maintain uh, more workers and good workers that we need in order to make this city function. So I am firmly in support of giving uh, these city workers a raise. Uh, thank you. Thank you, sir. On next on our hit parade, all the women from the 27th, you were recognized, all the women Boyd. I'm on the hit parade, huh? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I just have a comment. I uh, And I'm the type of person, I like to uh, compliment people where we are. And so I want to compliment the administration and working close with the Public Employees Committee because they saw the urgency in moving this so we could take care of our employees. So that's that's a good thing. And so people are questioning, and I just think that we need to look at, as uh, Alderman Ryan said, our employees are getting killed out there. And now with the weather the way it is, it's not helping the situation. So their backs are constantly against the wall. So I, you know, I applaud the administration because they had the foresight to start speeding this up so they can make sure these people are recognized that we do appreciate them and the work that they're doing. And so uh, I, I just wanted to say that because you know we constantly attacking people and the way this atmosphere is going, we need to quit all this beating each other up and start doing the work at hand. So I just wanted to make that clear. Thanks. Thank you very much, Alder Woman. Uh, we have Alder Woman from the 6th. Alder Woman Gracia, please proceed. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. Um, I, I want to um, articulate that I'm, I'm really excited that we have paid family and medical leave written into Board Bill 48. I think it's incredibly important. Um, for our city employees to understand that we we value um, them in that way. Um, I am concerned because uh, there has been a coalition of individuals uh, and stakeholders, including myself, who has been working on a paid leave policy for the city for about a year and a half. We were working closely with the administration um, and uh, those conversations were cut off to some extent. And really, especially for the... Um, childbirth, adopting a child, any sort of care situations in that regard, evidence has shown that 12 weeks of bonding um, has significant um, benefits to both the child and parent. And in fact, the American Academy of Pediatric, Pediatrics recommends that 
children are not enrolled in daycare until the age of, of 12 weeks. Um, and I think also uh, similar evidence exists in, in terms of uh, employees in case of a birth or adoption or stillbirth, and that is not written into this policy. And so um, while I am excited that we are moving this forward at this time, I think we still have a, a lot of work to do. And I hope that in time for next fiscal year, we're able to have a more comprehensive, inclusive conversation with the administration to uh, ensure those benefits are afforded to our employees. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, Alder Woman. Any further discussion? All right, hearing no further discussion, it's been moved and seconded that we perfect board bill, I believe 48, it's been a while since we started, board bill 48, all in favor? Uh, there has been a request for a roll call vote. So Sharita, please call the roll. Alderwoman Tyus. Alderwoman Middlebrook. Aye. Alderman Bosley. Alderwoman Evans. Aye. Alderman Page. Aye. Alderwoman Ingracia. Aye. Alderman Coder. Aye. Alderwoman Rice. Aye. Alderman Gunther. Aye. Alderman Stevens. Aye. Alderwoman Schweitzer. Aye. Alderwoman Howard. Alderwoman Green. Aye. Alderman Odenberg. Alderwoman Peel. Alderman Todd. No. Alderwoman Davis. Aye. Alderwoman Spencer. Aye. Alderman Vacoro. Alderman Narayan. Aye. Alderman Cone. Aye. Aye. Alderwoman Clark Hubbard. Aye. Alderwoman Boyd. Aye. Alderman Grass. Aye. President Balmer. Aye. Alderwoman Tyus. Alderman Bosley. Alderwoman Howard. Alderman Odenberg. Alderman Bacoro. 19 I votes and one no vote. Thank you very much. By your vote, we have uh, passed out board bill 48. I'm not passed out, we've, <laughs> we've perfected board bill 48. Uh, Sharita, next. Board bill. Is it 42 as amended? It is 42 as amended. I'm just trying to find it. Here we go. All right, take your time. <laughs> Board Bill 42 as amended, sponsored by Alderman Bosley, an ordinance relating to the appointment of and salaries of certain employees in the recorder's office pursuant to Section 82.610 of the revised schedules of the state of Missouri by repealing ordinance number 71174, allocating certain other employees to a grade with rate and containing an emergency clause. The provisions of the section contained in this ordinance shall be effective June 19, 2022. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I believe at the request of the sponsor, all the from the night, all the from the nineteenth, will you be handling this? Yes, sir. I recognize you to handle board vote forty-two as amended. Then, uh, Mr. President, members of the board, I move that we adopt board bill forty-two as amended. Entertain a second. Second. Seconded by the moved by the other woman from the nineteenth. Second by the other woman from the fourth that we perfect board bill forty-two as amended. Please proceed, Alder Woman. Thank you. This uh, pay bill is identical to the uh, list of them that we have before us today for county offices. Uh, there was uh, very little discussion on this bill yesterday, and uh, I will uh, answer any questions. All right. Thank you very much. Alder Woman, Alderman from the 18th, Alderman Todd, you're recognized. This is like a roll call. All right, sir. There's been a request for roll call when we get to that. Thank you, sir. It's been wrecking. And uh, any other discussion? Seeing no other discussion, all of them from the 19th, you recognize the close. I renew my motion. All right. It has been moved and seconded. We perfect board bill 42 as amended. 
All in favor, signify by saying aye. I'm pardoned. We do have a request for roll call. Sharita, please call the roll. Alderman Matthias. Alderman Middlebrook. Aye. Alderman Bosley. Abstain. Alderman Evans. Aye. Alderman Page. Aye. Alderman Negracia. Alderman Coder. Aye. Alderman Rice. Aye. Alderman Gunther. Aye. Alderman Stevens. Aye. Aye. Alderman Schweitzer. Aye. Alderman Howard. Alderman Green. Aye. Alderman Oldenburg. Aye. Alderman Peel. Aye. Alderman Todd. No. Alderman Davis. Aye. Alderman Spencer. Aye. Alderman Bacoro. Alderman Ryan. Aye. Alderman Cohn. Aye. Alderman Clark Hubbard. Aye. Alderman Boyd. Aye. Alderman Gross. Aye. President Vollmer. Aye. Alderman Tyus. Alderman Negracia. Alderman Howard. Alderman Vaquero. 19 I votes, one no vote, and one voted abstain. Thank you, Sharita. By your vote, we have uh, perfected Board Bill 42 as amended. Uh, we will now proceed. Board Bill 50 as amended. Sponsored by Alderman Bosley, an ordinance to repeal ordinance number 68706 related to the appointment and rates of compensation of certain employees under the license collector of the city of St. Louis and enacting in lieu thereof a new ordinance dealing with the same subject matter and containing an emergency clause. The provisions of the sections contained in this ordinance shall be effective June 19, 2022. Thank you, Sharita. Almer from the third, I believe you're with us. Uh, you're recognized. Uh, Board Bill 50 is amended. Uh, thank you, sir. And I appreciate the patience with the other board bills. If the clerk could have my name as an I on the, the ones that I, I did miss, my apologies, unless we did previous row. Um, this board bill is, is just like the other ones. The difference is- uh, this board, make, Please make a motion, sir. Yes, sir, I'm sorry. Um, I'd like to uh, move that we adopt board bill 51. It's 50 as a message. Board bill 50. Board bill 50 as amended. Uh, that board bill 50 as amended. All right, and second. It's been moved by the alderman from the third, and second, second by the alderman from the fourth, that we adopt board bill 50 as amended. Let us now proceed. Uh, alderman from the third, any discussion? Uh, yes, sir. So I just want to make sure it's, it's the appropriate time to introduce. There is a floor substitute for this bill. Does everyone have that? Okay, does anyone, I want everyone's checking in that. Uh... Okay. Okay, uh, all over from the third, you might, I, I, if you have any changes to this bill, you realize that it will not pass out in time. Just to, you were absent when we were discussing the rule of 65, any changes made require three days and we are meeting this Thursday. Uh, so by rule of 65, this would not be available for the signing on the 19th. Um, well, um, uh, three days from now would be the, the 19th. I mean, three, not three days, three days. Yeah, from no, now we both, yeah, our, our next scheduled meeting is Thursday, sir, because of the holiday this weekend. Right. Got you. If, if we did the committee, sir, we, uh, so what you're saying is in three days, we would not be able to move it no, up. No, we, to... we're not meeting on Friday. We're meeting on Thursday. Meeting on Thursday. Got you. If you want to take that into consideration, 
I do have uh, two hands up if you want to think about that for a second. All the way from the 26th, you have your hand up. Thank you, Mr. President, uh, members of the board. I would like to now request that Board Bill 40 as amended be moved back to the end of the perfection calendar, please. All right, okay. Sharia, please make note of that. Thank you. So noted. All right. With that, all the way from the 19th, you have your hand up. Yes, Mr. President, the amendments that uh, the alderman from the third has before him, if it is pertaining to um, the uh, actual 3% and or $2,000, we went ahead and amended that bill and included that. So if you share with us what the amendments are, Maybe we're okay. Okay, Oliver from the third, if you would uh, like to proceed with your discussion. Yes, sir, absolutely, thank you. So so what, what happened was, and just so everybody can have a clear understanding, of course, we, we talked about this a bit earlier that some of these departments were not um, all the way privy to how this two, uh, I mean, the 3% raise would go, nor the, the funding that was coming with it as far as the $2,000 uh, bonus. Uh, whether whether or not it was coming from Harper funds, their personal offices. So uh, one piece of information that um, one of the offices or a few of them got privy to uh, as of recent, which is one of these offices that that uh, few thousand dollars or two thousand dollars would be coming from Harper funds. Some of these offices work independently, so they look at their uh, fiscal ability to be able to take care of such requests. And uh, under the current thought that they would have to foot that bill. They um, decided not to put that in the bill thinking that they did not have the appropriate, uh, they did not have the funds to be able to appropriate uh, them to give those employees what it is that uh, the other um, offices were asking for. So upon finding out that these offices were and could be uh, getting, will, not, will be getting this funding from the offer funding, uh, they, sent in information to make sure that their employees were eligible also and able to receive the, the same benefits that the rest of the city employees have received. So just a little bit of background so we can understand why these different changes are being made. This is, once again, really quick for a lot of these uh, different departments. We all are working, trying to just, just figure out how to make sure that, that we get this done in a timely fashion or uh, within that first month. Uh, in this fiscal year, those changes can start making, uh, those changes can start uh, take, taking effect. Um, so the uh, two amendments in particular, uh, the amendment that is in this bill is there was no effective date. Like the, if anybody saw the committee hearing just today, we have to change the effective of date to uh, June the 19th to make sure that within this, once again, uh, this fiscal year, when the first check came out in July, that 3% rates would be there. Also, uh, the following check that folks will be able to have and receive that $2,000 bonus. So um, those changes were not in the bill yesterday uh, because once again, uh, that office, uh, this office here um, thought that they would possibly fiscally have to cover that, that, uh, that responsibility and, and they knew that they didn't have the, the funding to be able to do so. So after once again, finding out that they uh, would not have to fit that, put that uh, this morning, uh, uh, they got on the horn, we had a conversation, they sent out a uh, amendment and here we are now trying to make sure that those employees also have the ability to get that 3% raise mm -hmm. and that bonus here in this upcoming fiscal year. Okay, uh, all the one from the 19th, you have your hand up, is there any, uh, uh, please be yes, recognized. Uh, thank you very much. I was handling that bill for the alderman yesterday and um, those statements were made that they were not gonna provide that to their employees based on their budget. But I in turn said, I know this will change. And we went ahead and we did amend their bill. It has the appropriate dated information in there. So their bill has the same thing as all the other bills have in it. And yes, they can move forward and give the payment to their employees. So it was amended with the correct information like we did all the other bills yesterday. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, at this point, Alderman from the 18th, Alderman Todd, you have your hand raised. Thank you, Mr. President, and thank you, Board of Alder people. Uh, I would like to um, 
have a roll call because uh, a lack for the 18th ward. I'm only speaking for the 18th ward. Uh, for the lack for the lack of priorities of my residents not being taken into taken up in these bills, as well as poor city services by some of the departments. Uh, Thank you, Mr. President. All right, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Your, so your, requ your request for roll call has been noted, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. So with that, uh, I see no other hands up. Uh, Oliver from the third, you're recognized to close. All right. Thank you, sir. I renew my motion. Okay. It has been moved and seconded. We perfect board bill number 50 as amended. Sharita, please call the roll. Alderman woman, Tyus. Alderman Middlebrook. Alderman Bosley. Aye. Alderman Evans. Aye. Alderman Page. Aye. Alderman Ingracia. Alderman Coder. Aye. Alderman Rice. Aye. Alderman Gunther. Aye. Alderman Stevens. Aye. Alderman Schweitzer. Aye. Alderman Howard. Alderman Green. Aye. Alderman Odenberg. Alderman Peel. Aye. Alderman Todd. No. Alderman Davis. Aye. Alderman Spencer. Aye. Alderman Vaccaro. Alderman Narayan. Aye. Alderman Cone. Alderman Clark Hubbard. Aye. Aye. Alderman Boyd. Aye. Alderman Grass. Aye. President Balmer. Aye. Alderman Tyus. Alderman Middlebrook. Aye. Thank you. All the women in Gracia. All the women Howard. All the men Odenberg. Aye. All the men Bukoro. All the men Cone. Aye. 20 aye votes and one voted no. Thank you, Sharita. By your vote, we have perfected board bill 50 as amended. Sharita, please proceed. Board bill 40 as amended. Sponsored by Alderwoman Clark Hubbard. An ordinance amending ordinance number 70714 by amending section one, repealing section two of that ordinance and enacting in lieu thereof a new section two pertaining to the same subject matters and amending section three, amending the pay metrics contained in emergency clause. The provisions of the section contained in this ordinance shall be effective June 19th, 2022. All right, thank you, Sharita. All room from the 26, you're recognized on board bill 40 as amended. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. This is, again, one of the pay bills that we have been discussing. Please this make a motion. Oh, please make a motion. Please, I would like to make the motion to um, perfect board bill 40 as amended. I understand a second. Second. Okay, it has been uh, moved by the Alderman 26, seconded by the Alderman from the third. Please proceed, Alderman. Thank you, Mr. President. So just for clarity, because I'm getting texts and I'm sure other people are getting texts, the public is watching. And the way that some of this back and forth is very frustrating because the narrative will be that something we have done here today reflects on people getting paid for the work that we all have said that we appreciate that they do. That is not the case. Whatever the, the magical date is, whatever the rush is in this, um, I have no control over, we don't have any control over what we're trying to do is our part in carrying the legislation to get this work done. Yesterday in committee, there was a substitute, a committee sub that was supposed to be uh, um, presented on behalf of 40 
as a, um, on board Bill 40, but it didn't get in time for the 24 hour cutoff. So since it wasn't there in time for the 24 hour cutoff, we were planning to do a sub on the floor. Well, now as we continue and know that that can't be done because of the meeting on Thursday, we are now jumping back and forth trying to again, work collectively as a board to get this done. I wanted to make sure I was clear on that because people are getting the wrong narrative about the way this looks today. And um, <clears throat> I can't ditto enough what my colleague from the 24th said. Uh, we have the utmost respect for the uh, workers here in the city of St. Louis. We do. Nobody is pointing out anybody and saying that they don't want them to get paid and compensated for the work that they have done selfishly and tirelessly, not just through a pandemic, but there were problems in this system and there continues to be problems before the pandemic. So I just appreciate you, President, for helping us go back and forth and, and telling us this, because if not, it might have not gone this, you know, it might not have gone this way. And then we would have woken up to a narrative that people aren't getting paid because of the board of Alderman. And I don't want that because we're all doing the best we can here. So again, board bill 40 as amended uh, is the pay bill for the sheriff's office. And I am asking um, that it pass, um, that we perfect it today. All right, any further discussion? I see Alderman from the 18th, you have your hand up or requesting a roll call, sir? Yes, sir. And also I would like to make the statement. I worked all my life. No one has worked more years than I've worked. I started when I was old enough to use my hand and feet. So, but at the same time, uh, I still, my priorities, uh, the priorities of my constituents are not being addressed. And I think that uh, in, in order, to, and, I'm, and uh, also uh, uh, issues that, uh, and services are not being provided that I mentioned earlier. Uh, when we have grass six feet tall, when we have, uh, when we also have park without supervision, we have buildings that have killed, has killed the firemen in the past. We had dead bodies pulled out of buildings in the 18th ward. So my, uh, until, and uh, we, uh, when does all winter, and even during the spring, fall and summer, those buildings, continue to have inclement weather. And now we're going to end up eventually having the town down. And uh, our population going to decrease. The tax base going to decrease. So I don't, so I'm doing it because uh, the priority has to be uh, providing services for my constituents and priorities for my constituents. And that's what I ran on. And I would be, this, it would be disingenuous on my behalf and, and no disrespect for our city workers. But uh, the services, when I look out my window right now with the garbage cans full of trash, the grass six feet tall, I can't in good conscience vote to give anyone a raise until the employees speak out against this injustice done to the citizens of this community. Thank you, Mr. President. I re I, and thank you for all the people. Thank you, Alderman. All the women from the eighth, you had your hand up. You're right, thank, you, Ms. thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. Um, I uh, I want to echo the sentiments of my colleagues from the 24th and from the 26th, um, thanking our our city employees. We, you know, we're we're down. I think the last number that I heard was maybe a thousand um, positions were vacant that needed to be filled at the moment, and so the employees that we have right now are busting their tails um, to keep up with the work that needs to be done. Um, we all know uh, what our what our alleys, what our dumpsters look like right now. Um, you know, situations that we we need to continue to reward our employees for sticking with us. Um, that is one thing that we've we've heard in this economy that folks are jumping to other jobs where they're being paid more um, for their work and people who have stuck out uh, this the pandemic with their current employer are sort of getting punished because they're not getting those same sign on bonuses that other places are, are offering. And so this is, you know, can, giving these these bonuses to our employees are incredibly important. Um, to reward them, to thank them for sticking with us um, and sticking with the city of St. Louis and continuing to, do, to um, deliver services as best as possible. And I, I do agree with my, with the um, alderman from the 18th that there are things that we need to do better and we, we continually need to look to um, 
to work to improve our services. And I, I think we all deserve that. Our, our citizens deserve that. Um, you know, the, the city deserves that. But um, holding back on um, on thanking folks for, for sticking with us through a really difficult time, um, I think would be um, inappropriate at this time. And so um, I, I do also have a, um, a question for the Alderman from the 26th, if she would yield for a question. Yes. Alderman from the 26th, we yield to a question to the Alderman from the 8th. Yes. Please proceed. Uh, thank you, Alderman. I, I'm sorry I can't just pop across the hallway and ask uh, this morning, but um, I, I did. You mentioned the a committee substitute, and there is a floor substitute in the folder, so we're holding off on that for today. Yes, because I don't want to jeopardize it not being passed out by this the magic date. Okay, um, understood on that. And I, you know, I would encourage everyone who's been a part of, of these conversations and these pay bills that if they are for some reason, you know, insufficient or where they need to be, I would recommend that we bring them back sooner than later um, without having to wait necessarily for the next fiscal year. But if, if we need to make fixes, let's make those fixes. Um, but let's, I'm, I'm okay going forward if you're okay going forward today and I'm happy to support. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I will note that the fixes um, have nothing to do with the, they're not fiscal fixes, they're verb, they're verbiage. So, okay. No. Wonderful. Thank you. All right. Okay. I see all of them from the 15th. You have your hand up. Please proceed. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I also want to echo the sentiments from the Alderwoman from the 26th, um, Alderwoman from the 8th, and the Alderman from the 24th. I mean, our, our uh, city employees are are you know stretched so thin at you know there's barely a city department right now um, that has the adequate staff to function um, and the challenge we have right now is the challenge that the city is having with recruiting employees is the same challenge that almost every sector is having at the moment um, you know the last couple of years a million people in this country die due to COVID. We've had uh, another million who have chosen early retirement um, during the pandemic. We have other, you know, estimated 500,000 to a million who are not re-engaging in the workforce. They don't have access to childcare. Uh, and then we have an untold number of folks who uh, are struggling with long COVID and permanent Abilities from having COVID that makes it impossible for them to return uh, to the, their full world that they were at, you know, pre-pandemic. I think that the bills that we are are forwarding to um, for raises and bonuses, in addition to adding, you know, fertility insurance for city employees, are all really good steps. Um, but I think we also have to recognize that going forward, we need to look at what other employee benefits we can be offering, even if it's not financial benefits. Fits. Um, you know, maybe it's child care, maybe it's, um, you know, other kind of, you know, health savings accounts or, or things like that, um, because we are going to continue to be short as long as we um, are not paying competitive wages and not habits that um, are able to be competitive with a lot of, um, you know, entities or employers that are, are have more access to capital than we do as the city of St. Louis. So I think that this is a really good step. You know, we are all proud today to be standing by our city employee, giving them, um, you know, a much needed uh, a raise. But we also have to recognize that this has to be just the beginning, because um, if we're going to fill those 1000 vacant positions, we have to figure out some other uh, innovative ways to be able to uh, encourage folks to come and work for the city. So thank you. Thank you, all woman. Probably need to find a way to find more employees from the area and different areas also someday. That's a, that's another discussion, though. <laughs> but thank uh, you. I'll, I'll, I will recognize you all from the 18th. You're recognized. Thank you, Mr. President, and thank you for all the people. Let me uh, say this. Since slavery, uh, we have African people have been used as a reserve labor force, meaning the uh, white control institution refused to hire us because we are black and, and we put up unnecessary barriers for, for uh, and so we could, uh, we could go uh, to the jail, we could go to the prison, we could go to people with disabilities, we could go, we could, uh, we could uh, uh, do change our method of recruitment because we knew before, we weren't doing it before they uh, 
uh, pandemic. We went had uh, we uh, was constantly uh, sending, especially African people, to jail for drugs and other things. Uh, and we do, and and, and people gonna say they don't want to work. Well, that's why they brought us over here. We were kidnapped and brought over here we, to work. So we have a history of working. So we need to change the method of uh, recruitment. We need to change the test because most jobs, except uh, a few technical jobs, can be done by anyone. Uh, we need to hire more people because I was a special education teacher. We need to hire more people from special needs. Those people, I know they work. I know there are some with discipline. Many of them with, uh, uh, have discipline. They're hard workers. So we definitely need to hire especially African people and stop using African people as a, as a feeder for public works for the rural areas and the white community in the state of Missouri. And that's all it is. It's a public works program. The prison pro program is nothing but a slave ship lo located out in the rural areas of the state of Missouri. Thank you, Mr. President, and thank you for the all the people. So we need to change our method of recruitment. Stop testing uh, things that don't need tests. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Oliver, from the 18th. I don't see any more hands up. So with that, all the one from the 26th, we recognize the close. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. Uh, thank you for this robust conversation. As we move forward, I'm asking for um, previous well on, past, on perfecting board bill 40. Okay. Uh, we have a, been moved and second. We perfect board bill 40 as amended. We had a request for roll call vote. So, any request for previous roll? I, I, rec I can't request. Okay. I don't I, believe I, Okay. I'm sorry. I must have talked around it too much. I'm asking for previous roll. <laughs> okay. All right. We've had a request for previous roll. Hearing no objections, we have perfected Board Bill 40 as amended. And with that, we'll move on to line item 17, third reading consent calendar. Sharita, please proceed. Four bill. Take your, take your time. Third reading consent calendar. Board bill two. 31, four, seven, eight, nine committee sub, 13, 15, and board bill 17. All right. Over from the 25th. You're recognized on the motion on the third reading consent calendar. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that we pass the third reading consent calendar. It's been moved by the alderman from the 25th, and I'll entertain a second. Second. Seconded by the alderman from the 8th that we adopt our third reading consent calendar. Any discussion? Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Tyus. Alderman Middlebrook. Aye. Alderman Bosley. Alderman Evans. Aye. Alderman Page. Aye. Alderman Ingracia. Alderman Coder. Aye. Alderman Rice. Aye. Alderman Gunther. Aye. Alderman Steven. Aye. Alderman Schweitzer. Aye. Alderwoman Howard. Alderwoman Green. Aye. Alderman Odenberg. Aye. Alderwoman Peel. Aye. Alderman Todd. Aye. Alderwoman Davis. Aye. Alderwoman Spencer. Aye. Alderman Vicoro. Alderman Orion. Aye. Alderman Cohn. Aye. Alderman Clark Hubbard. Aye. Alderman Boyd. Aye. Alderman Gross. Aye. President Vollmer. Aye. Alderman Tyus. Alderman Bosley. Alderwoman Ingracia, Alderwoman Howard, Alderman Vicaro, 
20 aye votes. All right, by your vote, you have sustained the motion of the alderman from the 25th. Third read and finally passed the aforementioned bills. All right, uh, before we proceed, Sharia, could we move, uh, since I'm one of the sponsors, board bill 19, 20, and 21 to the third reading informal? So noted. All right, thank you very much. And with that, we'll move to line item 18. Third reading report of engrossment, final passage. Board bill two, 31, four, seven, eight, nine committee sub, 13, 15, and 17. All right. All of the business being suspended, the president will in open session affix their signature here to, to the end that these may become law. Everybody take a coffee break. <laughs> Um, we will now move to courtesy resolution calendar, courtesy resolution consent calendar. All from the 25th, you're recognized on our courtesy resolutions calendar. Thank you, Mr. President. I move that we pass our courtesy resolutions calendar. Entertain a second. Second. All right, we have a Motion by the Alderman for the 25th. Second was it the Alderman for the 8th? I didn't catch it. No? 15th. 15th, I apologize. Thank you very much. Been moved. Second by the Alderman for the 15th. We approve our courtesy resolutions calendar. All those in favor signify. I'm sorry, by Mr. Saying, President. Uh, yes. Mr. President. Discussion. Yes. Oh, okay. We have uh, on the courtesy resolutions calendar, certainly. Yes. Please proceed, Alderman from the 8th. You have your hand up. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. Um, I just wanted to recognize uh, resolution number 44 from Alderman Bosley and Alderwoman Clark Hubbard. Um, I, I think this is great that we're uh, pausing to recognize Juneteenth and I would love to add my name and I, I'm not sure if there's a if there's a majority of our colleagues, it would probably be in order to move to in-bank. Um, would you like to make resolution. that motion? I make that motion that we in-bank resolution 44. Second. Second. It's been moved and second that we bank resolution 44. Sure to please make note of that. So noted. Okay. No further discussion. With that, it's been moved and second. We adopt our courtesy resolutions calendar. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, first reading of resolutions. We have none. Second reading. Resolutions. We have none. Miscellaneous and unfinished business. We have none. Announcements. Wednesday, June 15th, 2022, streets will have a meeting at 10 a.m. via webinar. Intergovernmental Affairs will have a meeting at 1 p.m. via webinar. Thursday, June 16th, full board meeting, 10 a.m. via webinar. That's the extent of the announcements. All right. And uh, we've got any hands up? Any announcements? All the one from the 26. I know we couldn't get away without at least one. Come on. You, know, you already know. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. My first announcement is um, I hope Alderman Grass, my colleague in the 28, doesn't mind me announcing this, but since it's my brother and sister, Gabrielle and Tony Davis at the Davis Foundation Outreach, I want you to know that um, if you have um, children and teens that may need meals, they give out free summer meals. Uh, from Monday, I'm sorry, Monday through Friday from 11 to 4 p.m. at Prime 55 in the Delmar Loop uh, location at 6100 Delmar. That's at Prime 55, the Delmar Loop in the Delmar Loop. And they give out free summer meals for children um, Monday through Friday from 11 to 4. And of course, we are not going to let this day go by. I already said our lovely secretary, Tracy Billups' birthday was this weekend. But ma'am, you know we were not going to let this day go by. Happy birthday, Alderwoman Davis. All right. Thank you, Alderwoman from the 26th. Happy birthday, Alderwoman from the 19th. And Alderwoman from the 4th, you are recognized. 
Oh, <laughs> that'd be you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chair and, and all of the uh, members of the board. I'd like to wish my daughter a happy birthday today. I'm not going to say how many years ago it was, but uh, I toiled to bring her here and I want to wish her a happy birthday. She's in Kansas City, but that's okay. She's still my daughter. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Alderwoman. And Alderwoman from the 17th, you're recognized. Uh, thank you, President Palmer and members of the board. Uh, the two announcements that I want to make, they're kind of pre-announcements since we're going to have a, a meeting again on Thursday, but the announcements are that uh, in the 17th Ward, there's going to be a Botanical Heights Garden Walk on June 18th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And you'll meet at the Community Garden, which is at 4060 Folsom. And it is $10 per person. Uh, the second uh, announcement is also on June 18th. Uh, there is the Juneteenth Caribbean Walkathon at the at Forest Park at the Cricket Field. And the walkathon is from seven to nine. And the event goes all the way up to 5 p.m. But the walkathon is from seven to nine. So thank you. All right. Thank you very much, all the one. I see no other hands. With that, we'll move to uh, line item 24. Alderman from the 25th, you're recognized on the motion to excuse. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to uh, move that we excuse the Alder people from the first and 14th wards for necessary absence. Entertain a second. Someone speak? Second. Second. <laughs> All right, it's been moved from the Alderman 25th with multiples. I believe the Alderman from the fourth was one of the primaries. Uh, with that, that we uh, excuse you, Alderman, from the first and 14th for necessary absence. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Ayes have it. With that, we will make Alderman from the 25th. You're recognized on the motion to adjourn. Thank you, Mr. President. I, I move that we adjourn until Thursday, uh, this Thursday, June 16th at 10 a.m. via webinar. All in favor, please say aye. Second. Second. Okay. The move is second. We adjourn to June 16th, 10 a.m. by webinar. Thank you all very much. Technically, we need to vote on that, Mr. President. Oh, I thought we said all in favor. I said all in favor say aye. 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 I, I heard someone say second. Okay. No no's. <laughs> all right. We will uh, meeting is adjourned. We'll see you on June 16th at 10 a.m. Thank you. Thank you. Take care, everyone. Stay cool. Stay hydrated.